In recent months, Google Play has rolled out a new account verification process that applies to all developers. These policies require developers to provide verified information to continue distributing their apps on the platform. The objective, according to Google, is to ensure that the apps available on Google Play meet high standards of quality and reduce the risk of malicious software being distributed. While these changes are intended to improve the platform's security, they have caused concerns for some developers, especially independent developers with personal accounts, myself included. The most significant worry is related to the new requirements for personal developers to publicly disclose their home address in their developer profile, which can be seen by anyone. For indie developers and individuals who value their privacy, this is understandably alarming. In this video, I will try to explain in a simple way why this whole issue is about, what potential problems it implies for small developers, and finally, I will try to give some clues on how to try to handle this situation better. The Google Play account verification process is designed to identify developers and make apps within the platform safer and more trustworthy. For individual developers with a personal account, Google mandates that you verify your identity by submitting documentation such as an official ID and proof of address. The key challenge lies in the fact that personal developers must use their residential address for this verification. This address is then made publicly available if your app includes in-app purchases, which can be unsettling for many. Here is a breakdown of how the process works. For personal accounts, identity verification you are required to provide a government-issued identification document, for example, a passport or driver's license. Address verification, you must submit a document showing your residential address, such as a utility bill, bank statement or lease agreement. Public disclosure, if your app offers in-app purchases, both your name and full home address will be visible on your Google Play profile. If not, only your name and country will be shown. For developers using organization accounts, the process is slightly different. Businesses can use a registered business address rather than a personal address, providing an extra layer of privacy. This option makes it easier for companies to maintain privacy while complying with Google's policies. In contrast to other platforms like Apple's App Store, which allows more flexibility with virtual office addresses in some cases, Google Play has adopted a stricter stance. As a result, many personal developers are now in a difficult position, needing to expose sensitive information or explore costly alternatives to comply with the rules. One of the biggest concerns for developers with personal accounts with this new verification process is the public disclosure of sensitive information. For developers using a personal account, Google requires them to verify their home address, which in some cases is made visible to the public. This can be alarming as it raises privacy and safety issues, especially for individuals who work from home. Many developers feel uncomfortable with their home addresses being available online for anyone to see. This is especially problematic for indie developers, freelancers, or those who prefer to keep their personal and professional lives separate. In online forums and developer communities, there have been multiple discussions about these concerns, with some developers sharing their frustrations about the lack of alternatives, such as using virtual offices or PO boxes. While organization accounts allow developers to use a business address, personal accounts don't offer this flexibility. This forces many developers to either disclose their home address or consider other costly solutions, such as forming a business just to meet the verification requirements. Based on my own experience and the experience of other developers I have discussed this issue with, it appears that this new personal account verification process does not allow the use of alternative addresses, such as virtual offices or PO boxes. These services allow you to rent a professional address for business correspondence without revealing your home location. However, sending to the review team your contract with one of these services or any document that proves that it is actually legitimate for you to operate with that address will cause your document to be rejected due to not being one of the documents accepted in the personal account verification process. So, the question is, is there any alternative? Unfortunately, if you're using a personal account, the options are limited. 
some developers have attempted to redirect utility bills to alternative addresses. But this approach depends on your location and whether it's feasible in your case. Otherwise, forming an organization or business may be the only way to use a business address legally for verification purposes. Switching to an organization account can provide a key benefit for developers who are concerned about privacy. It allows you to use a business address instead of your home address, which is required for personal accounts. This can help protect your personal information from being publicly visible on your Google Play profile. However, forming a business comes with its own set of challenges. Depending on where you live, the cost of starting a company can be quite high, which may not be practical for indie developers or those working on a small scale. Additionally, running a business introduces legal responsibilities like handling taxes and managing paperwork, which can add complexity and administrative burdens. It's also worth noting that in the near future, a new policy will come into effect. For certain types of services, developers are required to register as an organization. This includes apps related to financial services, health and medical apps, VPN services and government apps. If your app falls into one of these categories, you must create an organization account to comply with Google's policies. In these cases, switching to an organization account is not just a matter of privacy but also a regulatory requirement. For developers who can or don't want to switch to an organization account, the options for protecting your privacy while complying with Google's policies are limited but not impossible. Although Google doesn't currently allow virtual offices or PO boxes for personal accounts, there are still a few workarounds you can try to avoid using your home address. One potential workaround is to redirect certain types of utility bills or other official documentation to an alternative address. For example, if you have access to a secondary property or a family member's address that you can legally use, you might be able to switch your billing details to that location. Once you have a utility bill or another acceptable document tied to this alternative address, you can submit it for Google's verification process. Another option could be renting a co-working space or shared office that provides you with an address and utility services. In some cases, co-working spaces issue utility statements or receipts that can be used for verification. These workarounds might not be feasible for everyone, and while they don't offer the same long-term solution as converting to an organization account, they could provide a solution that meets Google's requirements while protecting your privacy as a personal developer. In summary, Google Play's new verification requirements have introduced challenges for personal developers, particularly around the public disclosure of home addresses. While these policies aim to improve transparency and safety on the platform, they have raised valid privacy concerns. For many indie developers, the options are limited. Either comply with the rules as they are or explore costly alternatives like switching to an organization account. However, practical workarounds, such as using alternative addresses for documentation, may offer some relief for those who are not ready to make the leap to an organization account. Regardless of the approach you choose, it's important to stay informed and prepared if you still have to start this verification process. I hope this video has been helpful to you, and I regret that I can't offer more definitive solutions to this issue. I hope that in the future, Google will reconsider its policies to better balance transparency and security with the privacy and well-being of developers. I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day. Goodbye.